Hey guys, Greg here. Hey guys, so I am just about to cross into the United States, with any luck. Uh, I'm a little concerned because they've been turning a lot of Canadians away since marijuana legalization, and they've been banning lots of Canadians, and I've been reading a lot about that kind of stuff going on, so I am pretty worried. I've also never crossed into the border with a bed and a fridge in my car, <laughs> so that's another concern. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. Well, I made it. <laughs> um, but that was probably the most stressful two hours of my entire life. Uh, you know, I've heard stories of people getting grilled at the border, but this was on another level. They, uh, they really went to town. I spent my afternoon in an interrogation room. It took like two, two and a half hours for them to ask all their questions and such. And uh, yeah, they just kind of kept me in this room while they ripped my entire car apart. Thank God they put it back together afterwards though. I was really, really thankful that they did that. Anyways, um, yeah, it was a stressful day. But I'm in the U.S. now, so uh, time to begin the American journey. Here we go. So yeah, crossing the border, not a fun experience. Anyway, my first week in the U.S., I hit Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and Connecticut. The first two things on my list were Acadia National Park in Maine and Mount Washington Auto Road in New Hampshire. And I didn't do either of them. In Acadia, the visitor center was closed and it was a cold and rainy day, so I kind of just did a little drive through the park and then I left. Then I drove to Mount Washington in New Hampshire only to find that the road up the mountain was closed due to a recent snowstorm that they had. So next thing I had planned was to spend some time in Boston, and I made sure to pass through Vermont Vermont on the way down. Didn't want to spend too much time in Vermont, just kind of wanted to check it off the list. Boston was awesome. A beautiful city. They have an amazing public gardens, plus a bunch of awesome city parks. And where I ended up staying is actually right next to JFK's childhood house. Unfortunately, couldn't take a tour of the house. But I did walk around the campus of Boston University, Harvard, and MIT. There are a lot of prestigious schools in and around Boston. Downtown, they have something called the Freedom Trail, which is basically just a line on the ground imprinted in the sidewalk, which leads you to all the really cool historical stuff in the city. Boston Commons, the Boston State House, a bunch of cool graveyards, the Benjamin Franklin statue. Boston has a lot of statues. The Old North Church, the USS Constitution, just a bunch of cool historical stuff. However, it's a lot of history. By the end of it, I was exhausted from all the walking and getting pretty bored from my day-long history class. And then I had to walk back. But on the way back, I did stop at a few pubs. Boston is famous for all its Irish pubs. And actually, entirely by mistake, I ended up going to the oldest pub in the city, the Bell and Hand Tavern. And it got me thinking, I wonder what the oldest pub in America is. To go have a beer at the oldest pub in North America, White Horse Tavern. White Horse Tavern, Newport, Rhode Island. It's a pretty sweet pub. I, uh, I ended up getting all my drinks paid for by a couple that I met there. And I uh, hung out with them for a while, drank a bit, and uh, now I'm going for a walk around Newport. So it's been a pretty good day so far. After leaving Newport, I made my way to Connecticut. Now, the shitty thing about the northeastern states is the amount of people. So many people live up here that almost all the land is developed. So, in between cities, instead of camping out in the woods, I'm stuck sleeping in Walmart parking lots and casino RV lots. And on top of that, you have interstates. I hate busy interstates. So much traffic and tolls. Paying money just to drive on the road. These toll booths are fucking ridiculous. It's like... You're just waiting forever just to pay money to use the road. So this weekend's at a casino parking lot in Connecticut. So thanks again for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And as always, I will see you same time, different place next week.